What's going on guys, Manish here. So, in this video we'll be taking a look at on how to root the BlueStacks application. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So before I get started with this video, I just want to mention that if in case you have got a BlueStacks application already installed, I would highly recommend you to uninstall that particular version of BlueStacks and install the BlueStacks version which I'm going to show you now in a bit. So just make sure you have got no BlueStacks application installed on your computer as of now. Alright, so with that being said, the very first thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to download this particular folder over here and the direct link to it will be there in the description below. Now inside it, go to the installation folder and go ahead and install the BlueStacks application. So just right click on it and hit on install and then hit on the button which says run and that should basically pull up this particular window over here. Hit on I accept the agreement, hit on next and hit on next again. Just make sure you have got these two uh, options tick marked and then hit on the install button over there. So that should basically start installing the BlueStacks application onto your computer. So just wait till the whole process gets completed. Alright guys, so once the installation is done, uh, you'll be presented with this particular window over here. So now the BlueStacks application is getting initialized. So just wait till the whole initialization process gets completed. And then you'll be presented with this particular window over here. So just go ahead and close the BlueStacks application for now. Alright guys, so once you have installed the BlueStacks application, go to the downloaded folder and then you know let's go ahead and root the BlueStacks application now so go to the root files and inside it you'll find three files over here now the very first thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to stop the BlueStacks application from accessing the internet so right click on the bsnet blocker and run it as an administrator and then you'll be prompted with this window hit on block internet connection so that should basically stop the BlueStacks application from accessing the internet. So now once that's done, go ahead and open up the BlueStacks application. So once the BlueStacks application is up and running, the very next thing which you'll have to do is you'll have to go to the downloaded folder and go to root files and run the very first file over here that is the bs multi tool so just right click on it and run as an administrator and then you'll be presented with this particular screen over here now you'll have to select the first option over here that says auto router slash unlocker so just hit on one and that should basically start routing the bluestacks application on your computer so just wait till the whole process gets completed. Alright guys, so once it's done routing the BlueStacks application, just hit on Q and the window will close. Now the next thing which you'll have to do is, in order to check whether the BlueStacks application has been successfully routed, go to the downloaded folder and then go to root checker and then just go ahead and run this particular application over here that is a root checker pro application which will basically tell whether the BlueStacks application has been successfully rooted or not so just wait till the uh, installation gets completed So once the installation is done at the bottom, it will say that the root checker pro application has been installed. So just go ahead and, um, you know, go ahead and open up the BlueStacks application. So 
and then go to the application that says root checker pro hit on agree okay and then hit on the button that says verify root allow permission and as you can see over here the bluestacks application has been successfully rooted so that's it guys hope you guys have really liked this video and if you have any questions or queries just post it down below in the comment section or you could just go to my facebook fan page and post your questions over there so that's it for now and i'll see you guys in the next one